My name is Martin Entz. I'm an agronomist at the University of Manitoba and uh, this is the Glenlee long-term crop rotation study where we're comparing organic and conventional crop production in two different rotations. One with forages, forage phases, and one that has only annual crops. So uh, we started this rotation in 1992, so the crops that you're looking at here are the 18th organic crops grown on this land. Um, uh, our, two, our two rotations are um, uh, showing very different results in terms of organic. Uh, the, the rotation that contains two years of forage harvested for hay and then wheat and flax, uh, that rotation um, started running out of uh, available phosphorus after about eight years. And of course now we're in year 18, so uh, what we've learned is that uh, returning some compost uh, to those lands where we've removed the phosphate uh, is really important. And behind me, you can see a, a crop of wheat. The front half, uh, this is wheat in the rotation that contains forage, hay. And the front half is not treated with um, compost, and you can see the wheat crop is rather small. And the back half, uh, is treated with compost uh, and you can see the, the results are quite dramatic. Um, the other thing that's notable about this rotation um, that contains the forage phase for two years and then wheat and then flax is uh, the wheat pressure is quite low. If you look at this wheat crop there are virtually no wild oats whereas the organic system that only has annual crops uh, suffers very much from wild oats. So. Um, what we've learned is that the integrated rotation with uh, hay crops is, is much, uh, much better at controlling both Canada thistle and, and wild oats. So um, the things that we've measured at the rotation here are uh, yield, um, we also measure soil quality, mycorrhiza, we've measured, uh, done a lot of work on soil phosphorus, and we're interested in, in, my, uh, in, in other soil biological function now. Um, we've done some work on economics, on energy, and so it's been a great resource to look at the long-term effects of, uh, of organic uh, systems.